Hello again! Welcome to Let's Play Star Stable! I'm house slash dog sitting again, so my setup is a little bit different. I tested the microphone, but we'll see how it goes, how the volume is, etc. I actually really like having a designated office space to work in, and there's actually a TV behind me, which I think is really cool. I put some Star Stable pictures up there. I would love to have that all the time. To just have pictures going in the background. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. But anyway, that aside, we are here again in Fir Grove on Hollow Blood because it's been a while and I know Hollow Blood is among the favorites of my horses. Uh, we're here to speak to Andy again about the geocaching, which I'm very, very excited about because I love geocaching. So he was getting the stuff together, I think, for the event. Back to way. Mrs. Packard. Hey, Cadence, so awesome that you want to carry on helping me with the geocaching contest. Would you be able to head over to my grandma, Mrs. Packard, ask if she's received any applications for my competition? I expect we should have received some applications by now, wouldn't you think? Where do you live, boy? Do you live in this shed? What? Does he not talk to his grandma? I assumed he lived with his grandma, but I don't know. Maybe he just comes out here during the day to watch the sheep? Now almost everything's ready for my geocaching contest. The only thing missing is the prize to go in the treasure chest you helped me assemble. Right now, the prize is with the councilman in Fergrove. He let me store the prize with him since I was so busy with all the preparations here. Would you be able to trot over to the councilman in Fergrove and pick it up for me? Thanks so much, Cadence. Promise me you won't take a sneaky peek at the prize. It should be a secret right up until the winner finds out what it is. No sneaky peek and we will do more than trot. We will run. We will race. We will charge up there to get it. Good day, Mrs. Packard. Has anybody responded about the contest? Well, hello to you, Cadence. How are you? You want to pick up the applications for Andy's competition? I've got some bad news about the applications, I'm afraid. I've just opened the mailbox to collect my letters when, at that exact moment, a big gust of wind came from absolutely nowhere. I wasn't at all prepared for it, and so all of Andy's applications suddenly found themselves scattered around in the wind. Oh, loveliest cadence, how sweet of you to ask whether any of my own mail was blown away. You're ever so thoughtful. Well, the mailman hadn't actually delivered mine by that time. Why does he deliver by person and not by address? The only thing in the mailbox were the applications for Andy's competition. Would you be so kind as to help me find the applications that flurried away, dear Cadence? Oh, thanks ever so much, dearie. How very kind of you to help me gather up all the missing applications. I should rather imagine that they're spread out all over the village by now. It would be ever so sweet of you to gather them up and bring them back to me. Well, okay. And in the process, maybe we'll go speak to the councilman, the Fur Grove councilman. Ah, that's kind of a big drop. Don't go that way. Oop, two. Okay, so we need- Oh, they're all kind of right here. I say that, but I have no idea where the fifth one is. Aha! There it is. Here they are, Mrs. Packard. Thank you ever so much, you wonderful little jewel. Truly adorable of you to have gathered up all the applications that flew away, dearest little Cadence. Are you going to take them to Andy now? I hope he won't be too disheartened. There doesn't... There didn't look to be that many responses, I'm afraid. Cadence, love, will you take them over to Andy? I mean, there's not really that many people here in Fergrove, right? <laughs> there's like, what, five of you? There's five houses, maybe? <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, right, let's talk to the councilman. We'll participate. I love it. Hmm. Hey, you're here to collect the prize for Andy's contest, I presume? Hmm. Andy asked if I could keep the prize for him here with me. It seems as though he has had ever such a lot to do with all the preparations for his competition. I've seen all the posters around the village. It really seems like a great initiative of his. What the prize is, or could be, is something I have absolutely no idea about whatsoever, but I dare say the winner of the competition will find out soon enough. <laughs> will you ride over to Andy with the parcel containing the prize? Fantastic, Cadence. It's a little on the heavy side, but I'm sure you'll be able to handle it. Hollow Blood's got this. 
Let's go. Hello, blood is hot on the trail, racing through the woods of Fir Grove to deliver the packages to Andy. <laughs> the applications have arrived. Amazing. Let's see who's applied. How did go collecting the prize? Great. Thanks so much for your help. Doesn't seem like many people applied for my contest. What should I do now? It's only your first time doing it. Don't worry. You know what, Cadence? Maybe you're right. Maybe it does take time to build up a reputation and get people interested in a competition like this. But even if not as many people applied as I'd hoped, we have to run the competition anyway. Especially with all the preparations we've done together. Would you like to have a go? For real? Great! You sure? Oh, fantastic. You think it sounds fun? Nice. Lucky I never showed you the clues I hid. I've hidden five clues all spread out in locations around Fir Grove. I'll give you the first clue, and then it's your job to let it lead you to the second clue's location. Carry on like that until you find the last clue, which is when you should ride back to me and tell me what you found. The person who finds all the clues in the fastest time wins my amazing prize. You ready then, Cadence? Here comes the first clue. Listen carefully now. Iron, metal, gems, and stone. This place, a miner's second home. The second clue is where you'll find, with mind over matter, but not over mind. When you've worked out where I'm talking about, head over there and start looking. There you'll find clue numero dos. Good luck. Oh, I think I know where to go. Obviously. Over to the mine. I liked that clue. It was very clever. <laughs> so let's keep our eye out for the second clue. Oh, I see sparkles. I see sparkles. Oh, sorry, sorry. I see sparkles right over here. Yay! You found the second clue. You grab it from the ground and untie the ribbon very carefully. Where will the next clue take you? By the water, the trees are hiding a clue with plenty of apples just waiting for you. If it's westwards you go in search of the trove, you'll soon find your way to a clue in the grove. I feel like Dr. Seuss. <laughs> this is great. We're gonna go to the apple grove. I like it, it's very pretty there. <laughs> There are all the apples. Where is the clue? I should be getting, oh, there it is. Pretty close by now. Oh, you found the third clue. You grab it from the ground and untie the ribbon very carefully. Where will the next clue take you? Don't be scared, be bold, be brave, and look around amongst the graves. In this place where you pay respect, you'll find a clue. Now go collect. So being that this is in Fir Grove, I think they mean the grave over here as opposed to Doyle's Abbey. So we'll go check this this grave. I forget whose grave it is now. <laughs> I think there's a quest for that. And I don't remember if I did the quest on this account. Probably not, probably on Nova. <laughs> I should be getting pretty close by now. You found the fourth clue. You grab it from the ground and untie the ribbon very carefully. Where will the next clue take you? Head northeast with horse and tack and trot along the racing track. Containers, brushes, machinery too. I'll lead the way to the hidden clue. What did it say? Northeast? Is that what it said? Northeast, somewhere over here. Oh, somewhere on the track near the machinery. That's, that's pretty vague. Just saying. I should be getting pretty close by now. <gasps> Aha! You found the fifth clue. You grab it from the ground and untie the ribbon very carefully. This clue will lead you to the final spot you need to visit before heading back to Andy. The final clue you must unravel in is near the bushes and on the gravel. Through the sand pit you shall creep as you try and avoid upsetting the sheep. Oh, I know where that is. Back towards Andy we go. Oops. Ooh, we made it. We did it. Good job, hollow blood. Yeah. Did you ever do that accidentally and just cross your fingers and pray that your horse not get hurt and reset? I do it all the time. Here's the sheep pen. Do we have to go inside the sheep pen? What if the sheep got the clue first? Would they win? I don't see it. I don't see any sparkles anyway. 
It also bothers me that they could just walk out of their pen. I should probably help them fix that. <gasps> there it is! Yay! You've now found the final place you needed to find. You grab the clue from the ground and untie the ribbon very carefully. All it says on the paper is, Andy's Fur Grove Caching! Probably best to head back to Andy and describe to him all the clues you found and the places they led to. So it's sort of like geocaching. This is more like a treasure hunt, right? You're already back, Cadence? That went quick. You're a natural. Was it tough? I'd say just tough enough. Before I can tell you whether you completed the competition in the fastest time, I need to know what it said on the final note. Andy's fur grove caching, you say? Correct! Well done, Cadence. Congratulations. It was you who got everything done in the fastest time. This means, just like I promised, you get a prize. Nice work, Cadence. Open the treasure chest to see what's inside. Oh, use key. Okay. Key. Oh. This. Excuse me, Andy. I have a chest to open. Yay! Trembling with excitement, you open up the lock and peer into the treasure chest. You've won the prize, but what could it be? Shoes! Oh, bright yellow shoes. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. <laughs> Super nice of you. Was that, that was it? That was the end? It's time to check in. Oh good, it looks like the smugglers are back. <laughs> We're looking for some objects. There was a compass and something else. Maps or something? I don't even remember that the first mate lost and somebody picked them up. The compass we found on the beach, but something else we thought the smugglers had. Oh, I don't remember now. Uh, um, they'll give it to us. It's fine. The smugglers have just returned. Ooh, sea charts. Okay, it was sea charts. That was close. Maps, sea charts. Same thing, same thing. What's up, Bob? No, what do we have here? Cadence is back. What could she possibly want this time? So, you're looking for the mayor's sea charts? Yes, that makes sense. We did take them when we stole the key to the city. But when we hid in the labyrinth coast, there came a strong wind and blew away the sea charts. I've seen that the winds are still playing with the chart. I've seen it still blowing around out there when we were out smuggling. We haven't had any luck catching it, but maybe you will, as you have a horse. It is on the small islands along the labyrinth coast. If you catch the charts, of course you could do whatever you want with them. Alright, thanks buddy. See you later. Thanks for the info. Please stop stealing things from us. That'd be great. Thanks. Take your stealing elsewhere. But if you're gonna live in this cave, pay us a little respect, friend. Sea charts, sea charts. Where are the sea charts? Ah, there it is. Oh, two. Okay. Oh, okay. Um. Ooh, we got one. One of three. Okay. They must follow a path. Yeah. Oh. No. Did I get it? No. 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 Ah! Ooh, we got two. I don't know how, but we did. We got it. Goodness gracious, although I cannot complain because that was nowhere near as frustrating as the final level of Starshine Legacy. <sighs> okay. So now I think we go back. Yes. We'll go back to, uh... Klaus. Mayor Klaus. Thank you, Cadence. You've done me a big favor. Again. But of course, of course you should get a seat chart for the first mate. I'm anxious that they're get going soon so my sister can get the family china dinner set. Excellent. Thank you, you are my hero. And the compass is working too. It must have landed on something soft, like the sand over there. Thank you so much. Sea charts! How did you manage it, Cadence? Now we can plan the right way to sail. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yahoo! Thank you for your help. Yahoo! <laughs> thank you for your help getting back the compass and the sea charts. Now I can go back to the ship again. 
Can you tell Captain Bruce that I'm on my way and we're ready to cast off? I'm sure that you will get the reward for your horse that the captain promised you before. Ooh, it's a bridle. Thank you, sailor. First mate. He's supposed to be the first mate, but I don't know if I mentioned this last time. I think the first mate is down by the dock. They're just probably labeled wrong. I love all these little houses. What a fantastic view. Oh, I wish... I kind of like the blue one. Maybe I'll live in that house. Probably not fun during a storm, though. I still haven't done the house tag. I should do the house tag. Which house would you live in in every area? I'd also like to work on my horse wish list. I was thinking of doing that today. Captain Bruce. Yar, finally we can head back out to sea. Coming to land is nothing but trouble. On the open sea, life is much simpler. But now we're ready to sail and you should have the present I promised you. What is that? Key haul me backwards. Is that sea termite I see on my mast? We certainly can't leave like this. <sighs> now we have to stay here even longer. Goodbye, Cadence. You've helped me a lot, but I need to order a new mast before we are seaworthy again. But you should get the present I promised you. Yarr. Yarr. Let's see. Oh, nice. Shiny bridal. Swiftness plus three. What do we have now? Swiftness plus three. Nice. Thank you, Captain Bruce. Wrapping up that quest, unlocked a quest with Ewa. So I'm gonna come over here and check it out. Prizes at any cost. We usually hand out prizes to people who dwell on the jumping course, but now the closet with the prizes in it seems to be empty. Can you ask Karen if she has more prizes in her storage? Cause I don't feel like just saying it to her cause she's 10 feet away. Hmm, if I have any more prizes in storage, I don't think I do, but let me check. Is it? It is true, Cadence. I'm out of prizes in my storage and we don't have any golden leaves left. Golden leaves are what we use to make the nice competition prizes. I haven't had time to go get some more. Maybe you can help us with that? Hmm? Maybe? Probably. That is great that you can help. I'll tell you where to go to get the golden leaves. In Golden Leaf Forest. Hmm. Seems appropriate. <laughs> There's a special leaf that is fantastic for making our special prizes with. I have everything else we need but the leaves, so they are the last thing we need. But we need a lot of them. Collect 20 for me if you can. The forest lies in the deepest valley between the mountain and the golden road. Most of the leaves can be found in the western part of the forest and will be lying on the ground or blowing around in the air. Alright, so I think the quickest way to do it will be to take the trailer to Jasper's and then head into the forest. Oh, it's snowy here. It's not so much golden right now as it is white. Alright, let's gather these leaves. 20 of them. Here you are, Karen. Some 20 golden leaves. Thank you, Cadence. Those are fantastic leaves that you found. Now I'll need to go have a go at making those prizes. Come back later. We need some pumpkins. The stables have always had pumpkin pies at all of our parties, and that is tradition we intend to keep. Maybe you could speak with Jasper and find out if we could buy some from him? I was just over there, Karen. I would have asked if I had known. Hello, Jasper. Hey, Cadence, of course we can bring Karen a load of pumpkins. She can have them for free if you pick them for her. There are some that have ripened since you were here last time. Harvest six pumpkins from the field and deliver them to Karen at Golden Leaf Stables. Okay. Pumpkins for you, Karen. What great pumpkins! I'll put them here for now. Very kind of Jasper to give them to us for free. Jasper is turning into a kind uncle. Yeah, he's pretty happy now, I think. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you had a lot of fun. I think it's very interesting to see winter come to Golden Hills, but hey, that's, that's kind of cool. A little different. I hope next to record the Christmas wrap-up quest. That should be a lot of fun. And I'd really like to do a horse wish list 
to showcase all the horses I intend to buy at some point, which I mean, I know I want to buy them all, but <laughs> the ones I'm most excited about buying next. Um, I saw a few of you were doing that for the new year, so I thought that would be really cool. And also that, ho that house tag I talked about a while ago and just never did. I would really like to do that, especially now that I can do the houses in, in uh, Golden Hills. So <laughs> I think it'll be a lot of fun. You guys are welcome to do it as well because I want to see what houses you want to have and why. And anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget, thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!